Hello everyone. Today we are going to design a short rectangular column subjected to axial load and uniaxial bending. Let us read the question and write the given data. A column 300 into 400 millimeter. We have to keep the big side as D and the small side as B. Has an unsupported length of 3 meter. The unsupported length is given as 3 meter. We can convert that into millimeter. And effective length is given as 3.6 meter. We can convert that into millimeter. It is subjected to PU 1100 kilonewton. The factored load is given as 1100 kilonewton. We can convert that into newton. Factored movement MU is given in kilonewton meter. We can convert that into newton millimeter. Both of them act about the major axis. Determine the longitudinal steel and lateral ties using M25 grade concrete and FE 415 steel. FCK is 25, FI is 415. Assume D dash is 60 millimeter. Now let us check if the column is short or slender. For LE upon D, we will get 9, which is less than 12. For LE upon B, we will get exactly 12. Here the slenderness ratio is less than 12, but here it is exactly 12. Since it is exactly 12, we can consider it is a short column. If it is more than 12, we should consider this as a slender column. Now let us check the minimum eccentricity. We can check only in the major axis because the major axis is only subjected to the load and movement. For L upon 500 plus D upon 30, we will get 19.33 which is less than 20. From these two, we have to select the maximum value which is 20. For 0.05D also, we will get 20. Since both of them are same, we can neglect the eccentricity. But the movement is given in the question. So we have to check one more time. MU upon PU, we will get 209.09, which is more than 20. So we have to design the column as eccentrically loaded. Now we are going to find the non-dimensional parameters. First we have to find D dash upon D. For that we will get 0.15. Let us open the book SP16 page number 108. In that page we can see the chart number 33. I have selected this chart because for D dash upon D it is 0.15 and I am going to distribute the reinforcement equally on two sides. From the chart we can write these two terms. In these two terms we can apply all of the values. In the question it is given that the load and movement act in the major axis. Suppose they act in the minor axis. In these two formulas 300 millimeter should be applied as D and 400 millimeter should be applied as B. For PU upon FCK BD, we have got 0.37, this is 0.3, this is 0.32, this is 0.34, this is 0.36 and this one is 0 0.38. 0 0.37 comes between 0.36 and 0.38. So in between them, we have to make a line. For MU upon FCK BD square, we have got 0 0.19, this is 0 0.2 and this is 0 0.19. Along 0 0.19, we have to make a line. This point comes between the curves 0 0.14 and 0 0.16. So let us keep P upon FCK as a 0 0.15 since it is between 0 0.14 and 0 0.16. We know the value of FCK 25. Let us apply that so that for P we will get 3.75. Now let us find the grass area AG. When we multiply both of the sides B and D, 
we will get the gross area we know that the percentage of steel is 3.75 so 3.75 upon 100 into gross area we will get the area of the steel as 4500 mm square then using the trial and error method we can find the number of the bars and the diameter of the bars let us provide 8 number of 28 mm diameter bars from the previous videos we know how to design the diameter of the lateral ties and the pitch let us keep the diameter of the lateral ties as 8 mm with 300 mm spacing here you can see the cross section now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video